kids, it's Miss Kay again and today we are going to read about something that crawls. Do you have an idea about what it is? We're going to read about the very hungry caterpillar. I'm so excited, so let's do it. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you spot where the egg is? You're right, that's the egg. And what do you call this? This is the moon. Moon, you're right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. What is this? This is the sun, you're right. It's the sun. Now, can you help Miss Kay spot where the tiny caterpillar is? <gasps> oh, there is our tiny caterpillar. Can you please say hi? Let's wave hi to our tiny caterpillar. Hi. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Let's do a big bite. Yum! But he was still hungry. How many apples did the caterpillar eat on Monday? One. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Nom! Nom! But he was still hungry. How many pears did the caterpillar eat on Tuesday? Let's count. One, two, two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Nom, nom, nom. But he was still hungry. How many plums did the caterpillar eat on Wednesday? Let's count. One, two, three. Show me number three using your fingers. Three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many strawberries did a caterpillar eat on Thursday? One, two, three, four. Can you please show number four? Four, that's right. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many oranges did a caterpillar eat on Friday? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Show number five using your hand. Number five. This is number five. <gasps> oh, what is this? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That's a lot of food, don't you think so? Can we count how many food did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Show me number ten using your fingers. Ten, that's a lot of food. How many nom noms should we do? Let's do ten nom noms, okay? Nom 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 <laughs> That night he had a stomach ache. <sighs> my stomach is hurting, my stomach is hurting because I ate a lot of food. See? It's not good to eat a lot of food because your stomach might hurt. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Yay, our caterpillar feels much better now. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, Caterpillar! Ooh, do you still remember how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny? This is how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny. But after eating a one nice green lip, now he is... 
big and he's also fat are you ready to see a big and fat caterpillar <gasps> let's count one two three one two three oh our caterpillar is so big and it's so fat Ooh, hi caterpillar can you please say hi to caterpillar hi caterpillar look how big and how fat our caterpillar is now Woo! hi caterpillar now let's see what's gonna happen to our big and fat caterpillar he built a small house called the cocoon around himself so this is our cocoon it starts with letter c and the sound of c is can you please say k, k, k? Okay. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole into the cocoon. Pushed his way out and. Poof, 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 poof. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look how colorful the butterfly is. Can we say hi, butterfly? Wave hi to the butterfly. Why, butterfly? So our caterpillar is no longer tiny and no longer small. Now he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Yay, yay, yay! I enjoyed this story so much. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to read another story about animals. We are going to read 123 to the Zoo, a counting book by Eric Carle. Have you been to a zoo? I love going to a zoo. It says here a counting book, therefore you have to help Miss K count later. Are you ready? Let's go and start reading. One, two, three, to the zoo, a counting book by Eric Carl. <coughs> whoa, whoa, what sound is that? It says, choo-choo, choo-choo. What is making that sound? It's a train. So this is our train driver. And the train driver is driving lots of trailers and each trailer holds a special animal. Let's find out what those animals are. <coughs> Whoa, the first trailer has this animal. What is this animal? Let's listen to the sound. What animal makes that sound? And looks like this. This is an elephant. Can we count how many elephants we have here? There is only one elephant. That's why the number here is one. Say it, one. Can you show number one using your finger? One. The next trailer has... What animals are these? These are... Hippopotamus! Hippopotamus! How many hippopotamus do we have in this trailer? Let's count. One, two. We have two hippopotamus. That's why our number here is number two. Say two. Two. Can you show number two using your fingers? Two. The next trailer has... What animal is this? This is a, it has a long neck. It's a giraffe. Yes, it's a giraffe. Let's count how many giraffes we have in this trailer. One, two, three. There are three giraffes. That's why our number here is number three. Let's show number three using your fingers. Three. The fourth trailer has... <gasps> Whoa! This animal makes a... Roaring sound! Roar! Roar! What animal is this? 
Can you tell, Miss K? This is a lion. Lion. Let's count how many lions we have here. Ready? One, two, three, four. There are four lions. Say four. Can you show number four using your fingers? Four. The fifth trailer has... What animal is this? Hmm, let's listen to the sound it makes. These animals are... Bear. Yes, these are bears. Let's count how many bears do we have in this trailer. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. There are five bears. Can you please say five? Let's use our hand to show number five. Five. Whoa, another animals. What animals are these? These are crocodiles. Crocodiles, like in the song, Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Let's count how many crocodiles we have here. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six crocodiles in this trailer. Say six. Six. Let's use our hands to show number six. Six. The next trailer has... What animal is this? These animals are... Seals. These are seals. Can you please say seal? Seal. Let's count how many seals do we have in this trailer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven seals. There are seven seals in this trailer. Say seven. Seven. Show number seven using your hands. Seven. Next, these animals are monkeys. Monkeys. And the monkeys make this kind of sound. Let's start counting on this side first. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many monkeys do we have in this trailer? There are eight monkeys. Can you please say eight? Eight. Monkeys. Monkeys. So show number eight using your hand. Eight. What are these? Let's listen. They make a hissing sound. What animals make a hissing sound? Snake. Very good. All of these are snakes. Can you please say snake? Snake. Let's count how many snakes there are here. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine snakes. Can you please show nine using your fingers? Nine. Hmm, let's see the next trailer. Wow, do you know what these are? These are all types of... Mm. B birds. These are all types of birds. Let's count how many birds we have here. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many birds do we have here? There are ten birds. Show number ten using your hands. Ten. And. Oh, finally, all of the animals that we have counted are in the zoo. So we have counted from 1 to 10. Let's try counting again from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
the end and that's the story of the one two three to the zoo a counting book by eric carl i enjoyed counting with you thank you so much for helping miss kate today don't forget we're gonna have more stories soon let's count and match this is based from the book one two three to the zoo a counting book by eric carl I have pictures here of different animals, so what we are going to do is match the number of animals with the right number here. Okay, before we do that, let's see if you know how to count. Let's count these numbers. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, let's match the animals with the right number let's start with this let's count one two three four five there are five bears here which number is number five yes this is number five next picture let's count the crocodiles one two three four five six how many crocodiles? Six. Where is number six? This is number six. Let's put the picture here. Six. Let's count how many lions we have here. One, two, three, four. How many? Four. Where is number four? Number four is right here. Next, elephant. How many elephants do we have here? Let's count. One. There is only one elephant. Where is number one? Number one is here. We'll put the elephant there. Are you ready to count the seals? Let's count. One, two, three, four five six seven there are seven seals where is number seven seven yes let's count the monkeys this time are you ready one two three four five six seven eight there are eight monkeys do you know where number eight is Number 8 is here. Let's put it here. We're about to complete our train picture. Let's count the snakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many snakes? 9 snakes. Where is number 9? This is number 9. Giraffe. Let's count the giraffes. One, two, three. Three giraffes. Where is number three? Number three. Yay. Only have two pictures left. Let's count the birds here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many birds? Ten birds. Which one is number ten? Is this number 10? No. This is number 10. And finally, we have hippopotamus. Let's count the hippopotamus. One, two. There are two hippopotamus. Which one is number two? Number two. Wow, our train number is complete now with the animals. Thank you so much for helping me count. Now let's move on to our next activity. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to read another story about an animal that says quack quack quack. Do you know what animal says quack quack quack? It is a dog. A dog says quack quack quack. We are going to read a story of 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carl. I'm so excited, so come on and let's start. 10 Little Rubber Ducks by Eric Carl. Chuggity chuggity chuck, 
goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. Can you point to me where the little rubber ducks are? There goes our little rubber ducks. The little rubber ducks are painted. Bills red and eyes blue. Do you know where the bill of the duck is? This is the bill of the duck. What color did they paint the bill of the duck? They painted it red. How about the eyes? What color did they use to paint the eyes? It's color blue. Yes, it's color blue. Then they are packed. 10 to a... What is this? It's a box. They packed the rubber ducks inside a box. And off they go! Driving, driving, driving! Where are the rubber ducks going? Let's find out. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. So our little rubber ducks are inside a box and now they're gonna be loaded onto a cargo ship. Look at the ship. It's so big. Can you say so big? Hello? Calls the captain. Do you know where the captain is? The captain is right there. The captain says hello. So let's wave hello to the captain. Hello, captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to far away countries. To far away countries. What is this? It's a wide sea. It's a wide sea. How about this? We call this a sun. This is a sun. Suddenly, a storm turns the water into big waves. Oh no! A strong wind Whistles across the sea, whistles across the sea, up, down, up, down. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and ten little rubber ducks fall out. Ten rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. Ten rubber ducks overboard! Oh no! What's gonna happen with our ten little rubber ducks? Let's find out. After some time, the storm comes down. The ten little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. Can we please say big wide? The sea is big. And the sea is wide. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The ten little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. How many rubber ducks do we have here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. There are ten little rubber ducks. Can you please show ten using your fingers? Ten. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. What is this? This is a dolphin. Dolphin. This is a dolphin. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. This is a seal. This is a seal. Can you please say seal? The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. 
What is this? This is a polar bear. This is a polar bear. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. What is this? It is a flamingo. Hi, flamingo. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. This is a pelican. Say pelican. Pelican. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A. Who can tell me what this is? A turtle glides past it. This is a turtle. Turtle. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up. Can you please say up? Up. An octopus blinks at it. Let's say octopus. 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 The eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. Hi, seagull. Seagull. <gasps> Whoa, what is this? This is such a very big animal, don't you think so? Let's find out what's going to happen with our ninth little rubber duck. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. Oh, uh, do you know what animal this is? This is a whale. A whale sings to it. The whale is so big. How many little rubber ducks do we still have? There's only one little rubber duck left. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting. It is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky. Water and sky. Where is our tenth little rubber duck? Our tenth little rubber duck is right there. What's gonna happen with our tenth little rubber duck? The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. This is the mother duck. We call the baby ducks ducklings. So we call the baby ducks ducklings. Mother duck? Ducklings. What sound does a duck make? Quack, quack, quack. Yes. So quack says the mother duck. Quack, quack, quack. Say the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Where is our little rubber duck? Can you point the little rubber duck using your finger? There goes our little rubber duck. So the little rubber duck floats along the ducklings and the mother duck. Mother duck. Good night, says the moon. Where is the moon? The moon is right here. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. And what did the little rubber duck say? The little rubber duck said, Squeak! Where is our little rubber duck? Our little rubber duck is right there. And it says, Squeak, squeak, squeak. Look, there's a special message for us. The little rubber duck says, press here. I wonder what's going to happen if we press that one. Are you ready? Okay, let's count one, two, three, and then Miss K will press the button. Are you ready? One, two, three, press. <gasps> Whoa, did you hear that? Let's press it one more time. <gasps> it says, squeak, squeak says the little rubber duck.
It says squeak squeak because it's not a true dog. It's just a little rubber dog. The end. And that's the story of the 10 Little Rubber Dogs by Eric Carl. I hope that you enjoyed our story time today because Miss K sure did. Oh, it's another counting game. We're going to count and pack and this is based from the story 10 Little Rubber Dogs. Miss K has pictures of the boxes here where the rubber dogs are. What we are going to do is put the right number of dogs with the numbers here, okay? This is a little bit challenging compared to the other one because all the numbers are mixed up. Don't worry, Miss K will help you. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with this one. Let's count how many rubber ducks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rubber ducks. Where is number six? Six is here. Let's put it there. How many rubber ducks do we have here? There is only one rubber duck. Where is number one? One. How many rubber ducks? One, two, three, four. Where is number four? Number four. Ooh, there are so many rubber ducks here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine rubber ducks. Where is number nine? Number nine is right here. How many rubber ducks are here? One, two. Where is number two? Number two. Two. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven rubber ducks. Where is number seven? Number seven. Ooh, we're about to finish. So many rubber ducks here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is number ten? Number ten. One, two, three, four, five. Where is number five? Number five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is number eight? Is this number eight? No. Is this number eight? Yes. This is number eight. We only have one box left and that box is number three. Let's see if the rubber ducks are three. One, two, three. Yes! Our ship is complete now with all the boxes and the right number of ducks in the boxes. Thank you for helping Miss Kay in this activity. Today's read and sing along is inspired by the book Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed by Eileen Cristillo. So I have a daughter. She's one year old. Her name is Yan Yan and this is one of her favorite books. She always giggles when we read this. So I'm excited to read it with you. Let's start. It was bedtime so five little monkeys took a bath. Shall we count how many monkeys there are here? One two three four five there are five little monkeys that are taking a bath do you love taking a bath it's so much fun to take a bath right five little monkeys put on their pajamas five little monkeys brush their teeth five little monkeys said good night to their mama can you say good night mama can we say it together? Good night, Mama! So it looks like they're about to sleep. But are they really going to sleep? Then, five little monkeys jumped on the bed. Oh no, look at the monkeys. They're being silly and naughty. They're jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh no! The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So four little monkeys 
jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So how many monkeys are left now? We only have three little monkeys. So three little monkeys jumped on the bed and again, one fell off and bumped her head. Oh no. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So how many monkeys are left? So two little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh no, look at this monkey. That's such a bad fall. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So can you look at these three little monkeys? They look so hurt. So one little monkey jumped on the bed. There's only one little monkey left. She fell off and bumped her head. Oh no, just like the other monkeys, she also bumped her head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, what do you think the doctor said? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Look at them, all five little monkeys are hurt now because they all jumped on the bed. So five little monkeys fell fast asleep and thank goodness, said the mama, now I can go to bed. That's why we don't jump on the bed kids because we might bump our head just like the monkeys did. So now that we have read the book, now we are ready to sing along and do some counting. I'm so excited. So will you help Miss K do some singing and counting? And our animal friends, what are they? They are monkeys. So they are going to help us do some counting. So may I'll put some numbers here and help Miss K count later. Okay, let's sing. If you know the song about five little monkeys, you can join and sing along. Before we sing, can we count how many little monkeys do we have on the bed? Shall we start? One, two, three, four, five. There are five little monkeys on the bed. And this is Mama Monkey and this is Dr. Monkey. So we have five little monkeys here. So which number should we choose? Let's count first. This is one, two, three, four, five. So we choose this one and then we put it here. Now we can start singing. Let's sing together. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So how many, one monkey fell off. So how many monkeys are left now? Can we count? One, two, three, four. There are now four monkeys on the bed. Which one is number four? Can you point it? You're right, this is number four. Let's put it here. Now we can sing again. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So one monkey fell off the bed again and bumped his head. You can touch your head. Now, how many monkeys do we have here on the bed? Let's count. One, two, three. There are three little monkeys on the bed now. So now we have to change this number. Can you point which one is number three? Which one is number three here? You're right, this is number three. Let's put it here. So now we have three monkeys so we can sing again. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. 
Oh no, one monkey jumped on the bed again and bumped his head. So now we only have how many monkeys left? Can we count? One, two. There are only two monkeys left. So this one, we have to change this number now. Can you help Miss K find which one is number two? Is this number two? Yes, this is number two. You're right. Let's put it here. Now, there are two monkeys. So we can sing again. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, another monkey jumped on the bed and bumped his head. You, you can touch your head as if you're the one who got hurt. So now, how many monkeys are left? Looks like there's only, can we count? One, there's only one monkey left. Now we have to change this one. And there's only one number left. So this is, what, what number is this again? What number is this again, kids? It's number one. So we can sing, continue singing. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh no, how many monkeys are there here? Can we count? There's nothing to count because there are no more monkeys here. So we can remove number one here because there are no more little monkeys on the bed. So what should we do next? Looks like mommy monkey is sad. So let's continue singing. No little monkeys jumping on the bed. None fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Let's change it now because the doctor said, put those monkeys back to bed. Yay! Now we can start putting back the monkeys. We can start putting the little monkeys back on the bed. So help Miss K, help me count. One little monkey, two little monkey, three little monkey, four little monkey, and five little monkey. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. How many little, little monkeys do we have? Five little monkeys are back on the bed. So, so now we have five little monkeys back on the bed. Now, can you help Miss K find which one is number five here? Is this number five? No, it's number one. Is this number five? No, it's number two, you're right. Is this number five? No, it's number three. Is this number five? No, it's number four. Is this number five? Yes, it's number five. So we can put number five back here. So now all five little monkeys are back on the bed. So kids, I hope that you enjoyed spending time with me today, reading and singing along about the five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Just some lessons, kid. Don't jump on the bed because you might bump your head like our little monkeys here. Today's read and sing along is inspired by the book Five Green and Speckled Frogs, illustrated by Constanza Basaluzzo. Five green and speckled frogs. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum yum! And that's my daughter's favorite word is yum yum. She, she always likes to say yum 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 yum. So can we count the frogs here? One, two, three, four, five. There are five frogs on the log. Can you show me number five using your fingers? Five, correct. So one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. 
Now there are four green speckled frogs. Club glob. So how many frogs are left on the log? Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four frogs now. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Let's do the yum yum together. Yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glob glob. Let's count the frogs. One, two, three. Show me number three using your fingers. Three, you're right. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. What's the sound? Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are Two green speckled frogs, glob glob. So how many frogs are left on the log? One, two. Show me number two using your fingers. You're right, it's number two. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Say the word again with me. Yum, yum, as if you're the one eating the box. It's yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. And now there is one green speckled frog. Glob, glob. So there is only one frog left now. So one green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious box. Say the word again. Yum, yum. Can you see the frog? So big. Can you say so big? How big is the frog? So big. And what is the frog eating? The frog is eating bugs. Oh, look at the bugs here. There are so many bugs in a net. So one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. Can you show me zero using your hand? Zero, yes. So there are no more green speckled frogs on the log because they're all in the pool. They're all in the pool now. The end. And that's the story of the five green and speckled frogs. Now we can do some counting and singing about the five green and speckled frogs. Are you ready? I'm so excited. So let's do it. Hi kids, I have a picture of the five green and speckled frogs here so you can help me sing and count. But before we start, we have to complete the picture first. Do you know what these are? These are what we call numbers. So let's count them first. One, two, three, four, five. Since we have five little speckled frogs here, we're going to choose number five here. Can you point to me which one is number five? You're right! This is number five. So we have to put number five here to complete the picture. So some versions, they do five little speckled frogs. But since we read the five green and speckled frogs, we're going to use this version for singing. So we're going to sing five green and speckled frogs, okay? Now we can start singing. By the way, don't forget to say yum yum when the frog eats the bug, okay? Okay, let's do it now. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glob glob. One, two, three, four. How many frogs are there on the log now? There are four frogs. Now we have to change this number because this is not number four. Can you point which one is number four here? You're right, this is number four. Let's change it. We can continue singing. 
Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. One, two, three. How many frogs are there on the log now? There are three frogs on the log. Can you point which one is number three here? Is this number three? No. Is this number three? No. Is this number three? Yes, this is number three. So let's replace this number. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. One, two. How many frogs are there on the log now? There are two frogs on the log. Now again, we have to change this number. Can you point which one is number two? Is this number two? No. Is this number two? Yes. Let's change this number into number two. Now we can continue singing. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glob, glob. Ooh, how many frogs do we have on the log? There is only one frog left. So there's only one number left. What number is this? Can you say it with me? This is number... Number one. Correct. So we have to change it into one. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Say the word. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is no green speckled frog. Glob, glob. There's no more frogs, so we have to change now. Oh no, where are the frogs? They're all gone now. They, they all jumped into the pool. So they're into the pool now. And the pool is so big. Just imagine that this pool is so big. Can you please say, so big, so wide so deep so now all the frogs are in the pool we can put them back together can you help miss k put the frogs together by counting one to five ready one what, what's after one two two what's after two three what's after three four and what's after four five now we can also put the bugs back. Bug, the second bug, bug number three, bug number four, and bug number five. So can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. How many frogs are there on the log now? There are five frogs. So we can put number five again. And our picture is complete again. Thank you for helping Miss K today. Thank you for helping me count and of course, helping me read and sing together. So for today, we're going to sing about an animal that says quack, quack, quack. What animal is that? Can you guess it? It's a duck. Very good. So we're going to sing about the five little ducks. So we're also going to count just like what we did in the past. But before that, we're going to put some of the numbers on the side here so that it's going to be easier to put them later. Let's count first. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count how many ducks. So we have mother duck and we have baby ducks. Can we count the baby ducks here? One, two, three, four, five. How many baby ducks do we have here? We have five baby ducks. So which one is number five here? Can you point it to me? Which one is number five? Is this number five? No, this is number one. Is this number five? No. Is this number five? No. Is this number five? 
No. Is this number five? Yes, you're right. So we're going to put number five here. Now we can sing about the five little ducks. Are you ready? Okay, let's go and sing about the five little ducks. You can clap if you want. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says, what's the sound of a duck? Quack, 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 and only four little ducks came back. Oh, bye little duck. One, two, three, four. How many little ducks are left? There are only four. Now, can you point which one is number four here? Because we have to replace this number. Which one is number four? Correct. This one is number four. You're doing a great job. Let's continue singing. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says, quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Oh, one little duck left also. So now we only have three little ducks left. Can you point the number three here? Yes, this is number three. Let's continue singing. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says, quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. One, two. How many little ducks are left? Only two. Let's change the number. Is this number two? No. Shake your head no. Is this number two? Yes, this is number two. Now let's sing again. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Oh no, there's only one little duck. How many ducks? One. Now we have to change this number. What number is this? It's number one. So now we only have one little duck. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says quack, 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 quack. But none of the five little ducks came back. Oh no, let's remove this because there's no more duck. Now it looks like mother duck is sad because there are no more little ducks here. So can we sing sad mother duck? Sad mother duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says quack 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 quack. And all five little ducks came back. Now let's put all the ducks back so that mommy duck will be happy again. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's put the number five. Now all the five little ducks are back so now mother duck is happy. Yay! Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss K? Today we're going to practice counting from one to ten. Are you excited? I'm excited so let's do it. Let's start counting. One. Say it again. One. Two. Say it. Two. Three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make it a little bit fast. Ready? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that we have practiced counting one to ten, we can start singing. Do you have an idea about what we are going to sing today? We are going to sing about the ants. We're going to sing the ants go marching. Okay? Come and join Miss Kay and let's sing together. Let's sing it! The ants go marching one by one, hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching one by one, hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb. Ooh, look at that! He's sucking his thumb! And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom! Which one is number one? Can you point it? Yes, this is number one. Can you say one? One. Let's put it there. Next. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe. Oh, he's tying his shoe. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two. Which one is number two? Is this number two? Yes, this is number two. So let's put it here. Two. Next, let's continue singing. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, the little one stops to ride a bee. Ooh, look at that ant, he's riding a bee. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two. Three. Which number is number three? Can you point it? Is this number three? No. Is this number three? Yes, this is number three. So let's put it here. Let's continue singing. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to shut the door. Ooh! Shutting the door. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Which one is number four? Which number is number four here, kids? Can you tell Miss Kay? Can you point it to me? Is this number four? Yes, this is number four. Let's put number four here. Let's continue singing. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to jump and jive. Ooh, he's jumping. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. Which number is number five? Which number is number five here? Can you tell me? Yes, this is number five. Let's put it here. Let's continue singing. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, the little one stops to pick up sticks. Oh, he's picking up sticks. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Which one is 
Number six. Can you tell me? Is this number six? Yes, this is number six. Let's put it here. Let's continue singing. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. The little one stops to write with a pen. Ooh, he's writing with a pen. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Which one is number seven? Tell Miss K which one is number seven here. Yes, this is number seven. Let's put it here. Let's continue singing. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah! The ants go marching eight by eight, the little one stops to roller skate. Ooh, he's roller skating! And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight! Which number is number eight here? Can you tell Miss K which one is number eight? Correct! This is number eight! Let's continue singing! We're about to finish counting one to ten. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, the little one stops to drink and dine. Ooh, he's drinking. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Let's count. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which number is number nine? Is this number nine? Yes? No? Is this number nine? Yes, this is number nine. And we're about to finish singing. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching ten by ten. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching ten by ten. The little one stops to say the end. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What number is this? This is number 10. Let's review our song and count 1 to 10 again. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, thank you so much, Ants, for helping us count one to ten today. I hope that you enjoyed our sing along today.